All right, we are here in San Francisco with an enormous statue of Christopher Columbus, who, as we all know, discovered San Francisco in 1492 aboard his ships, the Nina, the San Jose, and the Palo Alto. This set the stage for a few hundred years later when thousands of other foreign information workers would come to Silicon Valley and begin making millions of dollars. He was the first. We're actually going to go down to Silicon Valley and uh, speak with the creator of Facebook today, so uh, let's get on that. I guess I'll just do a little intro and then we'll kind of go into the, the interview. Should I put the beer down? No, no, actually I'm going to mention the beer. <laughs> Hard at work. I'm here in Palo Alto, California, chilling with Mark Zuckerberg of the Facebook.com for the uninitiated or those without a computer. Um, tell us, you know, simply what Facebook is and what it does. So, I think Facebook is an online directory for colleges. And I mean, it's kind of interactive. So if I want to look you up or get information about you, I just go to the Facebook and type in your name, and it brings me up, like, hopefully all the information I'd care to know about you or, like, a good amount of the information I'd want to know about you. What is it that you think attracted, I mean, users? Like, it's a lot of different individual communities. So, I mean, when we originally got started at Harvard, it was just me uh, programming what was a Facebook, really, at that time for Harvard because they didn't have anything like that. So... Um, I realized that because I didn't have people's information like a school would in making a Facebook, I needed to make it interesting enough so that people would want to use the site and want to like put their information up or else it wouldn't be useful for other people and therefore it wouldn't grow. So launched it at Harvard in early February of 2004 and within a couple of weeks two thirds of the school had signed up. So at that point my roommates were kind of like, you know, this is pretty cool, like I bet this would work at other schools. But um, we were all busy with classes and stuff. so. Um, we kind of just wanted to make sure that it was going to work before going in, like any further with it. So we launched it at three schools that also had some sort of online communities. So those were Columbia, Yale, and Stanford. So um, launched at those three, and within a couple of weeks, each of those three schools also like had thousands of users who were like, all right, this is pretty sweet. Like, let's just go all out and see how many schools we can launch this at as quickly as possible. So we closed out the year with, I think, 29 schools came out to Palo Alto for the summer just to hang out because Palo Alto is kind of this mythical place where you know all the startups come from and got ready to launch it at another 150 schools when the year started and now you know, it's like we'll go to parties on campus and like if we end up in someone's room like there's a Facebook window open and that's pretty cool you know I mean we're like one of my roommates was traveling around Europe a couple of weeks ago and he went to internet cafes in like London and Ireland and Italy and like when he went to Facebook just to check out whether it was like whether we're still working the way it was supposed to, um, he'd go to like the login page and it would have like someone else's login there saved from like the last time someone had been on it. And I think like in London, he was like two of the people in the internet cafe were on the Facebook at the time. I mean, another thing we're talking like it sort of inspires like people to actually meet out in public. Yeah. Like it's not just an online community. Have you noticed stuff like that? Yeah. I mean, I think that the goal that we went into it with wasn't to make an online community, but sort of like a mirror for the real community that existed in real life. So, like, the Facebook for your school isn't somewhere where people actually go to meet, but like where you go to see like who knows each other, you know, and maybe like sort of an, a groundbreaker, or like icebreaker, you know, so that way you can um, find out something about people and see who you want to meet, or maybe like if you can like message them, and that's just like a really informal way to like start a dialogue. And where are you taking Facebook at this point? You're going to expand to those other schools that you're not at. Mm -hmm. And then what? I mean, there doesn't necessarily have to be more. You know, I mean, like a lot of people are focused on like taking over the world or doing like the biggest thing, getting the most users. And I mean, I think like part of making a difference and doing something cool is focusing intensely. There is a level of service that we can provide when we were just at Harvard that we can't provide for all of the colleges. And there's a level of service that we can provide when we're a college network that we wouldn't be able to provide if we went to other types of things. So, I mean, like, I really just want to see everyone focus on college and create, like, a really cool college directory product that just, like, is very relevant for students and, like, has a lot of, like, information that people care about when they're in college. So, I don't, I don't know what that is. And it's not everything that's on the Facebook now. 